everyone and welcome to Slipass Cuisine, my name is Harper if you did not know and today I'm going to try to make for the first time in my life biscuits but with that let us begin. So here are all the ingredients as you can see there are a lot of them and of course the recipe that I'm going to be using will be in the description down below so if you want to check it out there but yeah very easy recipe you know easy as in the ingredients are very sparse but the actual making of them might be a hassle that's really all so let's go on so first things first is to heat the oven to 450 degrees fahrenheit so there we go and the next step is to of course mix all the ingredients together so yeah at this point easy recipe as in i just turned on the stove and that was not a difficult task for me if it was i should just quit now so first things first is to mix all the dry ingredients together so the flour sugar salt and baking powder now i have to say that i am only making six servings this actually yields 12 so i just you know did some math and um i'm only making you know half of the mixture itself uh, so more or less I might mess up also this butter has just come out of the freezer I cannot find it in the refrigerator meaning it's rock solid and this beautiful milk is not actually milk well it's just milk it's half and half so more or less if I mess up that is why so I'm just gonna mix this lightly also this is not a pastry mixture I don't know the difference between which is which also I don't have a pastry mixture no what happens I only have this one so we're just gonna go on with that so I'm I'm just gonna do this very, very easily, so. So next step is to mix up the butter with the uh, flour. This might be a hassle because of course this is rock solid, but we're just gonna go on with that. So, oh no, it really is rock solid. So, that was a mistake. I'm going to let this butter warm up a little bit before I continue, if I can actually get it out. Oh no, now it's actually stuck. Okay, so as you can see, I accidentally actually broke this, which, this has been my family for years and years and years, and your girl broke it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so after a brief intermission, we are back to the program. We're going to put these in. They're... I hope they're okay. They might be a little bit too soft now, but at least they're working out. So we're just going to do this and uh, mix up until the uh, mixture is quote unquote into fine crumbs. So one second actually. Okay, let's begin. So the um, dough is done as you can see. It's, I'm not sure. It looks like crumbs. so. It should be okay. And now we're gonna put in the milk. So, um, I'm gonna just do it, you know, one at a time. So I'm just gonna do that. And we'll continue. And I'm supposed to mix this until it forms a dough, like, you know, a smoothish, stickyish dough, and all the dough comes off the side. So, yeah. So at this point, it's become like kind of, you could say, a crumb. Um, it feels pretty good, so I'm going, uh, but it's not come off all the sides of the bowl, so I'm just going to try to scrape some stuff off and let it go on for one more minute or so. Okay, there it goes. Now it's all formed, like, off of the bowl. So next thing you do is to uh, knead the dough itself. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on a nice layer of uh, flour and then take the dough and remove it out of its little home. Ha, there we go. And then I'm going to knead this. So it says only 10 times, just a minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There we go. Okay, it's kneaded, looks pretty nice. And now we're gonna roll this out until it's, uh, let's see, a half inch. So, I'm gonna do that now. So I don't really know what a half inch is, uh, but I'm gonna bet it's probably to here or so. This looks, oh, my dog just ran off with something. It looks like a half inch, so we're just gonna have one more like so. 
There we go. And then I'm gonna grab um, a cutter to cut the, the dough out, and we'll continue. I'm feeling pretty good right now. We had some trouble with the uh, stupid mixer because I was making weird sounds. I kind of got stressed out, had a nervous breakdown, but it's okay. We got to this point, so we're okay. Also, the oven just finished preheating, so that's a thing too. So I have to say that number one, this pan is eh, but it's actually clean. It just, you know, it's been through a lot, and I actually can't find uh, the stupid um, baking paper stuff, so we're just going to put it on this pan, and it might become a Chinese disaster. Also, I don't have a uh, round cutter, so I'm just going to use this instead, and we're just going to go on from there. So, I'm just going to cut these out. So here are the biscuits. They're a little bit too thin, uh, not too thin, just a little, a little bit thin, uh, which was my bad. Some of them look decently nice, some of them look whatever this is. So I'm just gonna put these in the oven for around 12 minutes, and then we'll see if they turn out. Honestly, this recipe is very simple and easy, so I'm hoping that they will turn out well. But I think it's more like, you know, how you actually do everything else, which is like, you know, the big thing. So is it needed uh, to a point where it won't be fluffy and nice? Do they look nice? And blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So here we go. They kind of look a little bit like shortbreads, which is a little bit worrying to me. Uh, but I'm just going to take them off immediately like it says in the recipe. And then we're gonna see if they turn out well. This one looks quite interesting. Uh, as a whole, I feel pretty good about them, but I'm worried that they might like, you know, be rock hard and not fluffy and delicious, so. That's my biggest worry right now. But they look pretty nice. Okay, so let's see how they actually turn out. I'm going to eat this one because it looks the nicest at this point. They're very small and they're very flat, um, which, yeah, but they smell really good, and right now they feel pretty good. I'm worried that they're gonna be probably like rock solid. They're very hot, so I actually want them to cool off for a while, and then I'll eat them. I'm also gonna get butter because butter makes biscuits taste amazing. Ooh, it feels good though, so that's a good sign. They're very small, so you know that's the big issue right now. Ooh, they look pretty good. They don't look dry. They look pretty good, Sebastian. Quiet. I'll have one buttered and I'll have one unbuttered. And we'll just see if, yeah, the difference is and all that. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see how it tastes. These days really good. There's usually one part that's a little bit crisper than the other part, but this part, which has more like the dough, it tastes really good. It's not dry. Um, it's still like, you know, the amount of moisture that you want that it doesn't taste like the desert. It's very flaky and buttery and I really like it. Aside from the fact that it looks like it might, you know, be hard and stuff, Sebastian, be quiet. It tastes really good. They look pretty nice and they taste really good. They are a little bit too small, which means that, you know, they are a little bit crispier than, you know, you like in a perfectly fluffy biscuit. But after that, they taste really, really good. I would give this probably an eight out of 10 just because, you know, they are a tiny bit crispier or like, yeah, crispier than I would like. But the parts where, you know, there's a lot of just, you know, dough instead of the smaller bits, it's a perfect amount and it tastes really good. They're not undercooked, but that's really all. So, of course, if this video is because I like, if you want more for moi, just subscribe. What should I cook next when it comes to, you know, like cookies or pastries or whatever? What should I have next? Comment below your suggestion and I'll get to it as soon as possible. But with that, that's the end of the video. So, of course, if this video is because I like, if you want more for moi, just subscribe. I hope you have an amazing day. I will see you next time. And as usual, goodbye! Sebastian!